In the bustling heart of the city that never sleeps, Katipunan comes to life in a colorful blend of energy and diversity. Amidst the constant hum of traffic and the lively chatter of people, you'll discover a world full of exciting stories and experiences waiting to be unfolded. If you've been to Katipunan, you've probably heard about a six-year-old boy named Bototoy. A small boy with round and lovely eyes, has round cheeks, and is always smiling. He always wears t-shirts, shorts, and a pair of sandals that are always faded and too big for him. Bototoy doesn't hang around the covered court because he's small and he always gets beaten to the ball boy jobs by Nono, Itok, and the other kids from Baranka. That's the reason why he end up in front of Frankie's steaks and burgers and decided to be a watch your car boy. Bototoy has 11 brothers and sisters. The four eldest are married and have their own families already. The next four have finished high school and their father and mother are toiling to put them through college. Bototoy and the youngest child, Nining, aren't going to school yet because even if the tuition is free, getting your school supplies and other needs is a problem. Nining is Bototoy's favorite sibling. Every time he came down the path in Barranca, he would always buy his sister some small present no matter how little he'd earned. What will you bring me tomorrow, Koya? I would say it. It's a surprise. Lot of different candies? Lots and lots. If I make a lot of money, I can buy lots of stuff. Really, Koya? Where do you get the money? On Katipuna. That's where I work. Where's Papa work? No, even farther than that. You have to cross the street and one of these days. If you like, you can come with me. Sure, I'd like to, Kuya. In Katipunan, you can find a famous place called Frankie's Steak and Burger. They make delicious dishes like tenderloin, T-bone steak, spare ribs, Hawaiian, Salisbury steak, beef teriyaki, and tocino. But the special thing everyone loves is their pork empanada, which cost 10 peso and 50 centavo. Every morning, noon and night, customers flock to Katipunan and stop in front of Frankie's and knock on the window and order that meat pie. Some people order and eat it right there, and if not, in their parked vehicles. Bototoy always watched them, and one day, a young couple parked their vehicle and ordered pork empanada and cokes and had their snack outside the store. Boss, I watch your vehicle. The couple just ignored him. Babe, I always buy this. This is yummy. Right, the crust is so good. It's so crunchy. Yee, yeah, it's so thin and like crispy, you know? When you bite it, it's kind of sweet. If I get rich, I'm going to eat that. For the first time in his young life, Bototoy thought of saving his money and living on a budget. Two pesos was all he earned on the next day. So, at Aling Rory's store, he spent even longer deciding what to buy before he got four judge, which he then gave to Nining when he returned home. Yay, another one! The empty can of Lego sardines he had turned into a piggy bank and added coins to, just a few, but at least they added up. He shook the can and looked at it, and thought that after a week it might be half full, and thought again that in a month he could buy a meat pie. I'm saving money, Nene. When I have lots of money, we will buy meat pies. They're delicious. Like a uh, roasted pig, Kuya? More delicious. Rich people eat it. On my birthday? Yes. When I have a lot of money, we'll eat there. Nining's imagination momentarily lit up with visions of pretty restaurants like the ones she and her mother saw from the jeepney or bus they were riding. As the days passed by, 
the sardine can half filled with coins and its contents increased. When Batotoy counted his coins, he had 21 pesos, enough to buy a meat pie each for his sister and himself. We'll buy you tomorrow, Nining. Really, Kuya? Hey, I'm excited! Meanwhile, let's have a short digression. If you're often on Katipunan and you've seen Frankie's steaks and burgers, then you've probably seen the waitress that is assigned in the store. That morning, the waitress had woken up in a slightly deranged state of mind. The previous week, when they'd closed the restaurant and counted the day's earnings, they found out that 21 pesos were missing from the meat pile sales. The owner blamed her, and even though her salary wasn't reduced, she felt hurt because they thought she was the one who stole the sales. That morning, while the waitress was busy arranging the produce, she saw two smiling little children approaching their store. Let's sit down, Nining. This is where I work. It's a crust, Nining, because it's crispy. It's delicious, Kuya. Delicious. On Katipunan, the cars passed by, some fast and some slow. And the two children watched them while chattering happily. All around us, the world continues to turn.